Hi everyone. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Just wanted to drop in. There's the tree house. Don't show that often enough. That's what started it all. I don't think I've ever told the story of what, how this pond came to. Here, let's, uh, all our friends are here. Let's give them some food. There they are. So yeah, so the way this all happened was uh, COVID happened. And then um, my neighbors here, over here, had a, uh, a play structure that their grandson would use, their grandkids would use, and uh, my kids would use it. And then COVID hit, and apparently it wasn't uh, safe for people to share things. So then um, I took some time off from work and built my kids the tree house. So you can see there's a couple swings, you know, a slide. There's a big, the big round slide in the back there um, that adults can use. So anyway, so I built that and I would actually spend a bunch of time up there because, well, you know, like to have some, some adult time and uh, I would have a couple drinks and then we were just getting, well, we didn't have the shed. We just, I built the base, gravel base down there. And uh, there was this area here and I'm like, oh, you know, I was, my son was watching uh, um, Greg, Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, uh, all the aquascape guys like Ed the Professor. And uh, he's like, Dad, Dad, you should, uh, you should watch this. And I've always wanted a pond. Actually, when I uh, first thought of building a pond was when, when we bought this place, I was actually thinking of building it underneath this pine. So there's like an area. And right now I got zucchini there and... There's actually, over here, I have a whole bunch of, uh, those are all potatoes, as well as a heart nut tree. Um, anyways, so that's where I always wanted to do it. And then, anyways, I get thinking and thinking and thinking. We're watching all these, like, videos that all the aquascape guys are posting. And I go to my wife. I'm like, you know. We should, uh, we should make a pond. We should dig a pond. So anyways, April of, uh, what was it? 2021 came. So this is April 2021. So we're, we're what? September 2023. So two and a half years ago, I uh, thought of this idea to, uh, along with my son, who at the time was like eight or nine, to uh, do this crazy idea. So we dug this with an excavator, obviously. And I actually, like, if you look at this, I had to build up. So like the ground's here and I had to build up here because I'm on a downward slope. Um, and like for me, it was a little difficult to figure it out. So the, the liner is actually like tied in here. Um, and I was really, really worried, actually, that it was all going to collapse. So it actually is humped here as well, underneath. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, we ended up getting a tanker of water. Not chlorinated water, water from a, uh, uh, not a gully. Anyways, so we got some unchlorinated water. And they pumped it in. I was just watching. I was just waiting for it to cave. And it never caved. And I was super happy. And then I came up with the idea of building a beach. A whole bunch of sand. So before we had the fence. 
I had a dump truck come and dump a full load of sand. Not the time I had my neighbor with the tractor. He just spread it all. And, uh, yeah, then we put the fence in after and just started. Uh, I planted like crazy. Planted everything and anything. Like it's, a, it's like a jungle in here. Anything I would find, like all these cattails I got from ditches, you know. And There was a bunch of stuff I got, like... Uh, this stuff here, got from the ditch, you know, a couple of the, the water lilies, like these water lilies, those are from a bog so close to here. These are from the river. Um, same with, I think, those ones there. But, uh, yeah, actually the tall grass, which this is the last year I'm going to have it because it does spread like crazy. It's all over ditches and whatnot. Um, very, very like prolific. I got that from a ditch. It's coming out, it started with one piece of grass and we ripped a bunch of it out. Uh, these elderberries came from a ditch. Um, I have high bush cranberries in there and black currants. Uh, they're all wild. Uh, Anyways, right, a lot of free stuff. Oh, look at my, uh, that guy there. Haha. <laughs> um, the hurricanes, I think, has gone by us. But it's, like, east coast. I'm, like, central Canada. Um, and anyways, uh, we're kind of getting some of the effects today. Just the trailing wind. It's pretty windy. And we had got some rain earlier. Um, but yeah, it's a, a wacky idea that people thought like, oh my God, you're crazy. When I dumped all the sand, they thought I was like out to lunch. Out to lunch. Anyways, it all came to and I'm just sit and enjoy. Actually, the pond's really clear, guys. I'm super stoked. Like they're they're deep in there. I can if it was sunny, I bet you I could almost see the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Super clear. Makes me so happy actually. So I saw one of the new guys. It's always that's always the thing when you get new fish. Where are they? Are they still alive? You know, I don't see any of them right now, but I did see one when, when I fed them. How about we? Oh, there's one over there. Um, he's right by the waterfall. I think that's the uh, the butterfly koi. Oh, there's two, there's one right there, uh, and he's gone. There's the other one, yeah, yeah it's a little butterfly. He's actually my favorite out of, uh, well, gosh, right there. Well, it's hard to see on, on camera. Right underneath, though. Yeah, right there. That's in there. That's okay. Looks like there's one over here somewhere, too. And it's, it's nice to see. I want to see my little blue guy. Blue and red guy. Right, let's give her one more feed. Look at them. Oh yeah, it's really looking good. Really looking good. Makes me excited. This shabunkin right here. Oh, it looks like he's kind of changed colors. They can color morph too. Yeah, yeah. I, I was at work and ended up getting off early today. So, yeah, just get to relax, chill out. So, spend some time editing this, and uh, yeah. All right, folks. As always, thank you, and uh, please subscribe.
and like that like button and if you have any comments put them down i'll answer them and share this share everything all right have yourselves a fantastic day bye